This video shows a case study of applying bioin in a wastewater treatment plant capacity re-rating exercise. Let's look at the application of bioin to the Noose River Wastewater Treatment Plant in North Carolina, USA. This plant is an advanced nutrient removal process with anoxic zones, a methanol addition for nitrogen removal, and alum addition for phosphorus removal. The plant also uses 12 denitrifying sand filters. The influent is typical for North American municipal wastewater. The design average daily flow rate is 60 million gallons per day. The plant has consistently met its effluent requirements, which include BOD, total nitrogen, and total phosphorus limits. It has been recognized by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency for both outstanding permit compliance and its biosolids reuse program. The goal of this project was to explore options for increasing the rate of capacity of the plant from 60 million gallons per day to 75 million gallons per day and to achieve a required effluent total nitrogen of 2.7 mg per liter in order to comply with the permitted annual mass loading. The approach used was to set up a bioin model of the treatment process. Some aspects of the bioin model include Waste activated sludge was directed to the primary clarifier for removal. The primary anoxic and aerated zones were modeled as several reactors in series. Methanol was added to the post-anoxic zone. Alum was added to the return activated sludge channel for phosphorus precipitation. The impact of time varying return streams was incorporated into the model. After setting up the bioin flow sheet and incorporating all operational aspects, the model was calibrated to two years of time varying performance data. In order to accomplish this, a supplemental plant sampling campaign was conducted to augment the existing data set. Minor adjustments were made until the model predictions matched the observed plant responses for a variety of parameters. For example, here we see the predicted mixed liquor suspended solids concentrations as solid lines and the observed values shown as points. Another example shows the predicted effluent total nitrogen as a solid line and the observed values as points. Once the model was calibrated and predictive of the plant behavior, it was applied to a number of what-if scenarios to explore the plant's performance under different flow and low conditions, for seasonal temperature variations, and for different operational scenarios, such as taking process units out of service. Based on the bioin analysis, it was concluded that the Noose River Wastewater Treatment Plant could be expanded to 75 million gallons per day with no additional activated sludge basins, as long as two additional secondary clarifiers were constructed. This finding translates to a savings of $8 to $10 million in the plant expansion program. Further details on this project are available in a paper presented at the Water Environment Federation's annual technical conference. In this video, we saw how bioin can be used as part of a wastewater treatment plant capacity re-rating exercise. Please check our video library for videos on how to use bioin for other engineering objectives. The library also contains short how-to tutorials that will help you increase your productivity.